Bitch You Online UK. I'm Helena. We're doing the fabulous UK. Terence UK. Yeah. yeah. How has London been treating you? Oh, it's amazing. You know, the uh, I went to the bar last night. Had a good night out in the city. It hasn't rained on me yet. I'm yeah. having a ball. Have you been shopping in the sales? You know what, man? It was a, it was a long line, so I think I'm gonna do all my shopping online this year. That's a good plan. And skip, yeah, I think that's and what. What I'm are you looking forward to seeing most in London? Um, I I'm, I'm looking for Will and Kate. So I'm mm. I'm been I have my binoculars. I'm trying to see <laughs> if I can see them walking past the window. I don't know if they're actually in London most of the time. Yeah, see that's y'all y'all confuse me. I thought they were here. <laughs> all right. Somewhere in the UK. So let me talk about the end of 106. Obviously, mm. that's like something that's close to your heart. You and Roxy did the last ever episode. How mm. was that for you? Oh, I mean, it's amazing, man. Whenever you can be part of something that's you know historic, so to speak, and and for for hip hop. Uh, that show lasted 14 years, and it was the first televised interview for so many big artists now, you know. I remember Nicki Minaj, the first time she was on TV, uh, Justin Bieber with his first, you know, performance on the show. So to, to be able to be part of that is, uh, uh, it's just, it's uh, it's some, something that I hold near and dear in my heart. Mm -hmm. Did you cry? No, no, I didn't, I didn't cry. <laughs> you didn't cry. And how was the transition from 106 to E? Because obviously it's quite an urban, um, an urban network going to E, which is more national. Like, how was that for you? You know, it's been great. You know, for for me, um, you know, the the, the biggest skill set things to work on have been uh, going from live television to going to a, a pre taped show mm -hmm. that airs live. It's just the, the the format is different. Reading the teleprompter more. Um, different guests that you have to interview, but for the most part, it's you know it's TV. Are you guys okay over there? What's going on, guys? I'm, I'm like I got like five children. God, guys, can you be still? Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> um, you think my entourage is like twelve years old? <laughs> you got uh, to keep them in line. Yeah. Do you get nervous doing still doing like presenting presenting major things, or does that kind of go? And do you have any kind of like ritual or routine to get you out of that? Um, you know what, man? I, I let all the nerves go. Uh, uh, a while ago, mm. um, uh, for for me, you know, when we do the big um, like red carpet shows, you still feel that type of adrenaline. Like mm -hmm. when you know you're you're at the Oscars, you're about to interview, you know, Meryl Streep, and and that still uh, gets your blood flowing. The rest of the stuff, a lot of it is is pre taped, so you know if you mess up, you can try over again. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been doing this for too long, man. So so now it's like riding a bike, but I still I enjoy every moment. So it's not nervous, but I, I really enjoy it a lot. And when you first started at 106, you said you were really rubbish for like two or three years. Yeah. How did you get through that? Because usually people would kind of just quit if they realize that, you know, first time, second time, third time, I'm really shit. How, do, how did you get past that? I didn't have any other ways to pay my rent, you know? <laughs> so I had to, that had to work, you know? And, and I, I was going to keep trying until they got rid of me. And, uh, you know, you look up and seven years passes by and you're like, wow, you know, you really got to do something that you loved. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for me... You know, there's, I always talk about this book called The Outliers. It takes 10 years to really mm. become good at something. And, um, you know, it, it took me quite some time to really hone in and master my craft. And it's still, I'm still a work in progress. You know, sometimes I look back at tape or I look at an interview and I'm like, wow, why did I not ask that question? Mm. Or I, I pronounced something wrong. But after a while, you just, you, you know, you become comfortable in your skin and you, you're okay with being yourself. You know, um, uh, flaws and all. Like, you're just okay with being yourself. And acting versus presenting, which one do you prefer? Um, I love the balance. You know, I, I wouldn't want to just do film mm. because I love the immediacy of being to go on television and talk about what's happening now. You know, when Robin Williams passed or, you know, when something big happens and to be able to be part of that moment and deliver that news to people, it's, it's something that I hold uh, at a high level of importance. At the same time, I wouldn't just want to do um, announcing because, you know, I, there's so much creative stuff that goes into doing films to be able to jump into a character and to be able to work with, you know, a guy like Kevin Hart and do scenes, is, is, it's a lot of fun. So I love the balance of being able to do both. Talking about Kevin Hart, I think Like A Man 2 came out here only about three months ago. Oh, and really? you probably had it quite a while back in the US. It came out in September, so it's quite fresh for us still. Oh, it's still fresh? Yeah. Oh, I'm a star in the UK this month. I think a lot of people only just recently watched it. Oh, good. So, have you seen it? Yeah, I have. I went to the cinema and watched yeah. it. Who got married? Who got married? In the movie. I don't know the names. Huh? It was me. See, was uh, yeah, I got, I'm the one that got married. Really? You didn't watch the movie. No, I did. I watched yes, it in the cinema. It was a while back. Um, so is, is, there gonna, to the, to the is there going to be another one? I don't know. Should we make another one? 
Why not? Was the last one good? The first what, one was better. The good. first one better. What what should we do this next time? You tell me. Um, I don't know. It's harder those kind of movies because you have to yeah. kind of make it different. So. If you come up with a good idea, then we'll do another one. Okay, cool. But it, it's, it all rests on your shoulders. Okay, so I'll see what I can come think up of. Some good. Right. <laughs> now let's talk about your book quickly. I know over here it wasn't like that much promoted. So how like. How was that for you, the response from that? Like, obviously, people don't see you as a writer, but was that kind of, did that have a good response? Yeah, you know, um, when we launched it, it was huge. We, you know, we, I went to a Walmart and there was just a big line of people mm. that, that read about your life. And I mean, you know, it's a humbling experience for me to, to be able to have something to pass down to my great grandchildren and just have that reflection of this period in my life is, is something that's, you know, very humbling. Um, so yeah, I, I loved the process of writing a book. And would you be interested in doing like a biography as well? It, books are tough, man. Mm. I, I'm I'm good on book. That that, <laughs> that was my book, and I you know maybe when I'm 60 years old and I have something better to talk about. Mm. And also, I wanted to ask you, you did, um, with Khloe Kardashian, you did Khloe After Dark, like a couple oh, of yeah, years wow, ago. Yeah, yeah. And obviously that was pretty good. I, I enjoyed that. So would you be doing radio again? Like, are you going to get into that again? Yeah, you know what, man? I started my career in radio when I was 15 years old. Mm. And so I've always done radio. These have been like the last two years of not doing radio. So I got to figure out a radio show. We should do a radio show together. <laughs> we should. Yeah, yeah. Come good. on, sell the show and I'll, 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 <laughs> Come to I'll London and it. do it. I got it. I should come to London. I'm going to um, move here for a year at some point in my life. Definitely. I haven't figured out when, but I'm going to. Okay, well, thank you for talking to us. Half up. Thank you. That was Did a bit crap. Hey, 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 hey. I don't care what these chicks say. I